trip to the southern Cebu we're gonna do a spear fishing trip at this beautiful resort I'll give you a plug on it a little bit later and walk around it but man it is a good day we got high tide in the background and as well I must say one thing guys it's never boring to drive in the Philippines because wherever you're driving you see the communities working on their land and it feels like each and every single morning they all come out they're cleaning the streets, they're making everything nice and organized, getting the day started. So it's, it's such a good feeling to drive in the Philippines. We brought the cars with us because I'm bringing all my friends from mobile. We're gonna have an awesome day. Camp overnight, sleep in this beautiful Nipa huts. And enjoy the beautiful seaside of Cebu. Wee. The time's been bad. Put smiles on everyone I think of you And of all I should have done you told me the thing you Look at you guys Such a good friends Jake's not humping me anymore. <laughs> Jake was humping Nico yesterday. <laughs> Jake, no more humping, huh? <laughs> so we're in the population of Ginatilan and behind us is Manhuyot. So if you want to take a boat straight to the dolphins, you can do it from here. And this place is called Island Life. Very simple because if you look behind us, we've got the Nipa hut, kind of traditional. This is where we're going to be sleeping tonight. Very comfy and cozy. And then we got all the spear guns here. And we have a safety method. We always attach one of these buoys to each and every single gun. So if we shoot the fish and we can't pull it up, at least the buoy is gonna carry the gun and one of the guys maybe even pull us up on the rope. So we're gonna gear up, dip in, See what we find. Oh, and by the way, we got all the boys. We got Nico, Joe, Caesar, Toby, Y, We, <laughs> McCoy, Sherlyn, and some other local guys. What was your name again? Carlo. Carlo as well. Carlo. Carlo. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, and by the way, I brought two GoPros, one attachment here. So it can go in the head of maybe Caesar or Franco. So hopefully this time we're gonna capture the shot, get at the fish. Whoa, who's already eating breakfast? It's a vegetables and fish soup and rice, of course. And why are you eating but not the boys? Because you guys are going to free dive, um, spare fishing, so exactly. save energy. That's what we do before we dive. We go on empty stomach no coffee or caffeine because uh, that's gonna give us a little bit more downtime we'll eat after the dive bro mm -hmm. go first because i'm not going it looks good i want to get that when we come back mm -hmm. every day is a struggle in the strife but don't you agree with beating hearts we're still alive Now 
Now quickly after we get into the water, we noticed that the weather was changing a little bit. The waves were getting rougher, the visibility was almost zero, and we could see big clouds of sand covering everything. At one point we couldn't even see the bottom, so I was feeling it immediately. The struggle was real, I was barely getting to the bottom. So, we move over to Cesar and Franco and see what they're up to. This is Cesar diving down to 30 meters, where he spots a grouper hiding onto the rock. He flashes the light, tries to lure him out, but unsuccessful. Caesar heads back up and lets Franco know that he spotted a grouper. On the second dive, Caesar points the light at him and Franco shoots him. However, the fish stays in the cave even if it's shot. Therefore, they put another spear into him. You can see how incredibly deep and tough this is and I take my hats off to Cesar and Franco doing this. So I take my hats off for the boys doing probably one of the most difficult fishing there is. And soon after that, things got really, really difficult. And I was getting seasick, bouncing up and down while in the water. I was feeling it. And at one point, I started burping and I wanted to puke. <laughs> this is my first time getting seasick ever when in the water. is here and here's what happened guys the weather is so extreme here and this is Visayas and it almost feels like it's the open sea we've got two three meters of waves the rain is here there's a lot of current and I got seasick and I'm burping a burping and I feel like I want to puke so we we cancel it we're going back and the boys drifted to the resort however I had to go to land McCoy followed me because I was just getting so seasick out there mm, up and down and swimming and dragging the stuff with the gun it's it's so exhausting that was one of the most difficult things I've ever done and uh, <laughs> now we're just at tre trespassing at a random house so we'll definitely say hi and uh, be friendly. Oh, I need to take a nap after that. Oh boy, that's crazy. Crazy weather. Salamat. The sea sickness is coming up and down, up and down. Ooh, that's the first time that happened to me. Not even on a boat, just swimming. And I think we're lost. <laughs> it's weird, guys. Seasick when free diving. 
it's not good I think it's a mixture of exhaustion because we were swimming so hard I was carrying that buoy there and some slippers and with the waves and the current it's dragging and dragging and dragging and sim swimming upwards the current Go back to the resort. I heard you get seasick. Did you guys go in? No. How are you guys feeling? I got seasick. Okay. That's the first time. We're getting two to three meters waves, right? Yeah. That was pretty high. Up and down, up and down, looking around. And then suddenly, whoa, I need to puke. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like I want to puke. They <laughs> start burping. You should have feed, it, uh, feed the fishes. Yeah, that's feeding. <laughs> Fish feeding. So I stopped it. Fish <laughs> feeding. All right, just took a quick nap. I feel much better now. Look at the water now. I think when we arrived here earlier, it was kind of bluish, but now it's just all the sand, the erosion from the ground is just swirling around in the ocean. That's why the visibility was so bad as well earlier. You remember there was a shot where I showed there was just white. Couldn't see down. It's just sand floating from the beaches. That's how much current there was. Chicken, rice, mango, and then we got a barracuda soup. That's it. Here's the update. We were supposed to do afternoon dive and then another one in the morning in Oslo side. But the weather is just gonna get worse and worse. And I've never seen waves like this in Cebu before. So we're going back to mobile. We're not gonna stay overnight, but this place is, it's awesome guys. If you wanna stay here, I'll link down below the uh, Facebook page so you can message them if you wanna stay here. Very affordable, you can cook here, which was the plan, but uh, it's just not looking good. Very difficult to dive. Quite frankly, it's, it's dangerous. I felt a little bit scary earlier. So, uh, yeah, we're going back. <laughs> we'll see where we continue the video.